Fantastic. Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my open TTD Let's Play, where we are in episode 3 and steaming along. Literally, we have steam trains uh, going around. Uh, they're paused at the moment because I want to uh, sort a few things out. So, um, in Hellishville, uh, the local authority and everything, uh, what do they think we are? They think we are very good, which is fantastic. Let's look at the goals here. So, last time we hit that magical 1000 mark. Now, the odds are that's going to dip beneath again when the town removes buildings in order to make way for newer, better and bigger ones. So, it will fluctuate. Um, but we are hitting that mail capacity. So, both on passengers and mail at the moment, we're 99% on both of them. So now I'm going to be looking at the next one, uh, which is food. We need to start preparing that. Now, last time we had a look at the industry chain. So remember you go down to uh, industry chains off this tab here. And if we go and look at food, we saw a variety of different places that accepts it. And the petrol station one was the cheapest. Now in this early, moderately early stage of the game, I think petrol station might be the best one. Uh, petrol and goods are next. So if we look at the What's Coming Up book, uh, we've got food, goods, and fruit. So uh, with the petrol station, we can do the food and the goods. And when it comes to fruit, we'll have to have the grocer's shop. But then we'll already have the petrol station ready for the petrol at 5,000. And then building materials... Um... What, what accepts building materials? I can't remember now. Let's have a look. Building materials. Okay, so we want a hardware store or, or some or a builder's yard. Uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So the first one we need is the petrol station, followed by the other one. I can't remember what it is now. Right. So um, I did have a comment um, saying that petrol stations get built by the time uh, town automatically. That is true. However, I do want to force a particular. Um, location so um, this is where one of our main passenger stations is going to be the other main passenger station is going to be over here and what I'll do is we'll put freight at the top and the bottom here I'm going to allow a 9 by 9 in the middle with no stations so that means that this section here this is where the station is going to be so let's just do that brilliant and uh, we're going to need a station in there. Now, I'm going to start with quite a small station. Now, are we going to do top or bottom? Oh, hang on a minute. I haven't worked that out yet. Uh, we could be at the bottom. We could be at the top, depending on where the food is coming from. So, if we look at the industry chains. There we go. And go back to food. Now, this is the bit we really we didn't look at last time very much. Uh, sugar refinery, fishing harbour, grain mill, dairy or stockyard is where that comes from. So, if we move that over there to the right-hand side of the screen. Open up the world map. Fantastic. Now we're already roughly centered on Hellishville. I'm just going to recenter that. And we're going to switch it to industry mode. Probably zoom out one. There we are. Turn the town names off so it's easier to see. We're going to disable all the industries and we're going to turn on the ones we want. So these are in alphabetical order. So sugar refinery. There's actually. Yeah, there's there's one here that's not too far away. So that could be an option. And there's a few further away. In fact, there's two here. There's one there and one there. Those two could feed into this one and then that through to, to uh, Hellishville. That could work. Fishing Harbour. Fishing. That begins with an F, which is here. Okay, so there's a couple of fishing harbours over here. Um, it's possible that we can get something from there. Grain Mill. Uh, grain Mill. That begins with a G. Thank you. My brain. There we are. Now, there is a grain mill down here, but that's quite a way away, and there's one over there that's quite a way away too. Dairy, let's go look. There is a dairy not far away as well, and a stockyard. Uh, stockyard, stock, stockyard. Right, no stockyards yet. I'm thinking that the closest one are these two fishing harbours, and possibly this dairy. So let's check out the fishing harbours first. So there's a... Does it keep my settings? Yes, it does. Thank goodness for that. There's a fishing harbour. Now, the good thing about a fishing harbour is, is if you look at the supply chain, there's a fishing harbour in the middle. The food goes out to the petrol station. Um, it can get... Uh, it brings in fish and manufacturing supplies. And fish only comes from fishing grounds. 
Uh, so let's have a look. We've got a sandbank here, which is a fishing ground. So these ones are the easiest ones to do. Uh, we can basically get all of the fish, go to this fishing harbour, and then bring it in. We could actually probably put it down and make... We could make Punston a semi-terminus station and bring it down this line in into Hellishville. But, 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 I'm keeping passengers and freight separate in this series. Um, I find it difficult sometimes to manage both at the same time, and we're going to have them on different tracks. So that is probably the easiest one. There's four fishing grounds in the area. We can get the boat to take it to the fishing harbour. Now, the only downside is, is that I believe, if we just have a look at the available boats available ships here we go the oil tanker uh, can't do um, fish um, and the cargo ship uh, can't do fish um, so that is passengers only that's goods or oh, oh hang on all but passengers are cargo so it can do fish and Right, so the cargo ship here, this one can do fish. The only problem here is is that its capacity is quite big. Um, and the rate that they these fishes put out, look, 27 tonnes of fish a month. If we just quickly pop one of them down, I mean, it cost us £500 to do, but that's okay. And we get a new ship. As long as we don't use it, I think we'll get all our money back. Uh, have we got the money to buy that? Yes, we have. Okay. There we go. So we've got the ship. If we want to look at refitting it uh, to fish, it will do 160 tonnes of fish, when only 27 tonnes of fish are going to be produced every month. Now, a good target, a ballpark to go for, is three times the amount of production. So you're looking somewhere in the region of not a lot. And it's definitely not going to fill up that boat. It's going to take at least six months to fill up the boat. It's going to be very unprofitable. Uh, right, now, what we're going to do is immediately sell that. Uh, come on. Get it in there. There we go. We get, uh, I think that's all our money back. Um, so that is one downside. The other option is is that we train it there. Now the catchment areas, um, if we put a single track here, you can see that we get fish here. Now that's going to be much more efficient. We can do shorter trains, bring it through. Um, similar situation here. If we do a little jetty there, um, but that's going to cost a lot of money. So that's option number one. Option number one, fish to the fishing harbour and then bring it into Hellishville. Option number two was, I think, this dairy farm? Yes. So if we look at the supply chain here, the dairy farm goes straight out. There's no need, I think, stockyard goes to a dairy or a stockyard. Or did I get this wrong? Hang on a second, let me just double check. Industry chains, food, dairy. Not a dairy farm, a dairy. Oh, hang on a second. That's a dairy farm. Let's just go have a look. Okay. Ah, right, okay. That's the dairy. Which can do loads of things. That look. That's a dairy farm. That's a sheep farm. Is there any more dairy farms around here? So the dairy farm would have to go to the dairy, and then the dairy would have to come in to Hellishville. I'd probably come round the bottom side of this river and then in. Uh, any more dairies around there? Dairy farm. Okay, so there are the little red ones on the screen there. There are three within what I would call the area of the dairy farm. So we have two, a couple of options. I think I'm going to start with the dairy farm because it's the one that's most likely going to make me some money. Um, in which case we want the station down here, I think. Yeah. 
Okay, let's let's do that. Let's let's bring in Actually, I could just have a boat go around and pick up all the fish from the different places. It doesn't have to be full each time. Right, we're going fish. We're doing fish. I've decided it's fish. Right, so we're going to get a boat, new ship. We're going to get this cargo ship. Um, the game's paused for some reason. I forgot to unpause it. So we're going to buy the ship. I'm being decisive today, aren't I? Uh, we're going to refit it for fish. That costs 300 and something quid. And then we're going to say, um, you, go to here go to the sandbank go to this sandbank it's difficult to know where to click there we go and then go to this one and then go to this one so he's doing a round trip and then after the round trip go there and deliver now I can't go direct to the fishing harbour like I can to the sandbank. I know I just clicked it, but it was silly of me. We need to put a little a little dock in. We'll put the dock here. And we'll tell it to go there. So we're going round. We're, we're loading, uh, if available. Um, load nothing. No unloading and take cargo. That's what we want. No unloading and take cargo. No one loading and take I don't think it accepts fish anyway, so it's probably pointless. And then we want to unload all. Uh, and we don't want to take anything. And leave empty. Right. You get started. So that's that side of it done. Or at least going. What we want to do now is put the train station in. So if we put... I'm going to put two tracks in. Put two tracks in here. And we're going to face them this way. And we're going to connect them up to this fish market station. So it's all one station. Okay, so if I hold control and click, I can click this boat thing here and it makes it all the same station. That just means that we have to manage less stations. Um, we're going to come across the top of this city and round it into the top of Hellishville. So, uh, yep, we're going to put a train station. And we're going to start with two tracks. We're going to go... What should we do four? Well, we'll start with four tracks. It's probably going to end up being more than that in the future. But we have the money now. We're not scrimping and saving like we were at the beginning. Uh, hang around to the end of the episode for details about the first live um, episode, which uh, I'm hoping is going to come soon. Right, a nice simple station to begin with. And we're going to immediately drop the height. There we are. There's a ship going to the first sandbank I've got a feeling that I'm going to need more ships uh, can I afford I can afford to get rid of that it only cost about 20 something grand so if we just go straight here to begin with this is going to be like our main trunk for bringing in food and then the idea is, is I wanted to go straight here which I can do fantastic and I just want to diagonal these two together we miss the city but also try and miss this hill so there that would be my my diagonal situation that wouldn't go away there we are brilliant da -da -da. missing a bit there we are right so i think i've yeah i've overshot ever so slightly here but that's fine um if we got remove mode on we get a little bit of the money back not much and then have i overshot down here no is there a little bit of a hill in the way uh, yes, just. So we're just going to get the W, no, uh, Q tool. The Q tool, and, no. There we go. Wow, that, that was remarkably easy, and it's a very efficient line. Uh, let's put the junction in at this side. Remember, this is a terminus station, so we don't need signals on the end uh, if I remember correctly what convention am I using inside signals for this series I, I gotta swear it changes every series Cl control click and drag for that and oh my goodness it could have been more perfect we already have the line sorted out don't really have the money for a train yet but I, we, we need to get one started just so that we register the service and start picking up the food so new vehicles 
We get a steam train, we can just about afford that. Let's just quickly take a quick break and go back to Hellishville, wherever it's gone. There it is. If we click Hellishville, you can see it's gone down, but that's only because it's removing... Um, it's removing... what do you call these? Buildings, that's it. It's removing buildings in order to make new ones. It doesn't go down uh, for any other reason, unless you delete stuff. Um, and if we look at our targets... Okay, yeah, we're just delivering passengers at the moment. We're at 99% of that, so we're still all good and on target. Right, new vehicles. We need food. What carries food? I think a goods van can... No, it's not a goods van. Food van. That that will carry food, won't it? I know it's got too few orders. I haven't actually done it yet. Right, so we definitely are producing food here. Yeah. Let's buy it to make it let's put four in for now we can always expand that later and we want it to go here and we're going to hold control and when I click it makes it a full load any cargo and then we're just going to tell it to go to Hellishville now the biggest problem is that I actually haven't put anything that accepts food in yet um, so if we go industry chains food it was the petrol station. I'm not. Petrol stations must accept food because they have that little snack bar where you get drinks and sandwiches and stuff. In this case, it sells fish. Lots and lots of fish. Um, we've got. Let's have a look. See what's going on here. We've got a shop and offices being built there, and we've got a new stadium. We did used to have a stadium down here, I think, um, but not anymore. Right now, I want to put the. Um, industry on the outside outskirts of the town here so if we go for fun new industry and we go down to a petrol station uh, we haven't quite got the money yet but uh, we will have soon we will have very soon in fact we'll we'll have it before this train fills where's the train gone you're ready to go aren't you yes okay you start there we go uh, have we had a round of the ship yet? The ship's on its second round. Is it carrying anything? It's empty. Well, there's fish waiting here. There's no fish waiting there. There's fish waiting there. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll send a second one. I know we need the money for the other thing. And ideally, I want at least one ship going backwards and forwards between each of them. So what? Let's um, let's just quickly put these sandbanks and pin them in the corners so we can see the quantities that are going on here. There we go. Now it might be that it's not on its second run. It might be on its first run. Um, in which case, I think this they're probably going to fill up quite quickly. Um. We'll see. Maybe a third third ship would be required. Okay, we've bought the ship and we've got enough money for our petrol station now. So, fun new industry. Scroll down, get the right one. Petrol station re requires food, goods and petrol. Uh, we'll also bring goods up here. We'll do food and goods at the north. Uh, petrol station fund. So, I want it in this section here, outside of the 9x9, nine nine, or this one. Hmm. Let's put it here. There we go. Petrol station is being built. If we click on here, we now accept food, goods, and petrol. We don't actually accept um, houses yet, but I'm fairly certain. Uh, rail tower room. Yeah, local authority is still hellish filling that area. So hopefully that train station still counts as hellish fill. Right then. Yes, I know it now accepts foods and goods and stuff. Brilliant. Yeah, there's quite a lot of fish going from these places once it gets um, sorted out. If we go to location, though, that one produces uh, 32 tonnes. I think we're going to have to have a ship for each one. Yes, we are. We're going to have to have a ship for each one. Um, ratings are terrible there. I mean, I know it's also temporary, isn't it? 
I might might be able to get to this one by rail. Let's have a look. A single line railway station in this orientation. Let's see. That accepts fish. That that's okay. For some reason, and I don't know why, that supplies fish. So if I build out to there with land. Uh, let's hold shift, see how much it's going to cost. Right, so it's going to be about a quarter of a million pounds to put that railway station in. It's too much money. It's way too much money. Can we reach this one without spending too much money? Oh my goodness, we, we can put that one in. We, we, that one's in. Right. Um... Oh, it's going to have to go a long way round, isn't it? Or oh, bridge across here and come in. I think I'm going to have to bridge across there. Nuts. Right, okay, let's put a bridge in. Oh, not a very good bridge. Okay, hang on a second. Eh. Let's do from there to there. Uh, 24 thou. That's not too bad. And then if I go diagonally from there to here. Wow, okay, this is going better than I thought. And then we just come out from here diagonally. We need to then go into that station. I mean, ideally, I, I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to put some more platforms in. We're going to put fish, 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 re receiving, and then fish um, in and out, basically. And they're going to be two different sets of platforms. There we go. So let's just come down here now. How much would it cost me to fill that in? hundred thousand well the bridge is gonna nearly cost that we haven't got the money though we'll do it later right quick stop check how's hellishville getting on right we're back above the thousand now it's doing well so that means that we require mail which is also doing well uh, we're at 99 percent storage on both of them so our current service is well into what we need uh, mail is roughly double and passengers is roughly double what we need so that's good as well uh, town is growing 26 months in a row now that is absolutely brilliant it's grown 27 months out of 35 in total the beginning was very slow but we're getting there food is going to be at 2000 so we, we really need to get this sorted out actually um, I'm thinking well I'm going to What's that ship doing? The ship's broken down. Okay, this, uh, what's this? Prudenpool Sandbank. That one. Remove that one from the list. And in fact, this Gronhill one as well. Get rid of that one. There we go. So it's just going to go between those two and fill it up. Really, a ship going back and forwards here is fine. Uh, let's get the rest of this railway in. So this at the moment is a single track railway, but I, I dearly want to make it dual. So in case I want to have more than one train. Ideally though, I think I'm only going to need two. Um, how much would a bridge cost? 16,000 and 10,000. It will do for now. We will tidy that up later. Uh, the game has not ended. It's the end of the year. We can have a look at the storybook. Annual awards. Well, there's no annual awards because the game's ended. Um... We're doing all right, though. We're doing good. So if we come off this bridge, and ideally, I just want to turn as quickly as possible. I don't want my track to go any further than that. There we go. Right. Well, I wasn't expecting to be able to do that. Um, that's why it's so poorly organized. But if I put my signals in here like this, and down there, Yep, then this should automatically have the correct signals in it. Ooh, we've got a bad bit of track. Which means the signals didn't go right. There we go. Great. Okay. Let's let's get a train in. Um, we'll put a train on the side of it here. We we'll go new vehicles, steam train, buy vehicle. Now, how many fish get pr produced here? 25 tons, uh, sorry, 45 tons. 
Uh, 45, 80, 90, 90, 130, 135 tons. So we want, we want to carry fish. Um, the food van can carry fish and carries 25 tons. And I said, what did I say? 135 or something like that. So if we get four, that's 100. Get two more, that's 150. No, let's drop one. Drop one. There we go. Right. You. Train. 12. Go here. Full load using control. And then unload over here. Unload. And don't take any cargo. Go! Right, okay. So now we just, we're just we ignoring this one for now. Um, until I've got the money to do anything else about it. Now, these ships, we're going to unshare their orders. Stop sharing. And we're going to delete Punston Sandbank from one. I did it the wrong way around. Yeah, this one probably ought to go to Punston. That one set it to full load then you see this one we can say full load again no unloading and wait for any full load okay let's just full load any cargo unload and leave empty yep there we go right so now I've changed it we've ditched one of the sandbanks um, we've put these two sandbanks to have a dedicated boat for each one. My train's at 44... 44% of food? Cool. Uh, this is at 0% for fish. I'm a little bit worried that it's not actually in the catchment area. And that it lied to me. So that says supplies fish. That supplies fish. Hmm. There must be an area around the sandbank which you can get into the catchment. We'll keep an eye on that. If that's still zero for a while, after a while, we'll have to do something about it. Um, train's looking good. It's getting some food in there. We're going to need a lot more food than this to satisfy the requirements. There's our petrol station now. It's all nicely built. Requires foods, goods, and petrol. How are we doing on... Oh, my goodness. We're at 1,238. Ah, oh, things are really starting to steam along. We need more. We need more. A lot more. More and faster. Right. What's that? That's a sheep farm. I'm thinking we need to get this dairy set up. We need to get it up, set up fast. And we will do that next time. So that's going to be all for this time, folks. Uh, we have decided what food we're doing. Uh, we've set up some boats. We've got some train lines bringing food into places where we need it. Uh, that's still on 0%. We'll keep an eye on that. Now, next episode is actually going to be a live episode. So if you're watching this video on the day of release or the day after, um, the live episode is due to take place stalling as I get my calendar out on Monday the 16th of October that's of course 2017 um, so um, the time I think is going to be 8 o'clock UK time get on my website get on my Facebook look at the events and um, get ready because there will be a live stream on Twitch TV for a special one hour episode live um, and I look forward to seeing you then thank you very much for all your fantastic comments on this series so far keep them coming in they're brilliant so all your thoughts ideas and questions down in the comment section as always and also an extra thank you to my viewer plus subscribers not only does your support help me do all this sort of things that i do right now but also um, they help test this map and the game that we're doing in this series so thank you very much to them well thank you for watching and i will see you uh in that live episode but for now goodbye